Well, what a wonderful morning it is. Um, and it is again time for us to read our daily Bible chapter. Um, and today it is, what is today? Let me go down here and see the uh, 18th of January the 18th of 2022. And we are in Leviticus 20, reading from the New King James Version. And Leviticus 20 talks about penalties for breaking the law. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Again, you shall say to the children of Israel, Whoever of the children of Israel, or of the strangers who dwell in Israel, who gives any of his descendants to Molech, he shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. I will set my face against that man, and will cut him off from his people, because he has given some of his descendants to Molech to defile my sanctuary and profane my holy name. And if the people of the land should in any way hide their eyes from the man, when he gives some of his descendants to Molech, and they do not kill him, then I will set my face against that man and against his family, and I will cut him off from his people, and all who prostitute themselves with him to commit harlotry with Molech. And the person who turns to mediums and familiar spirits to prostitute himself with them, I will set my face against that person and cut him off from his people. Consecrate yourselves, therefore, and be holy, for I am the Lord your God. And you shall keep my statutes and perform them. I am the Lord who sanctifies you. For every one who curses his father or his mother shall surely be put to death. He has cursed his father or his mother. His blood shall be upon him. The man who commits adultery with another man's wife, he who commits adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress, shall surely be put to death. The man who lies with his father's wife has uncovered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. <clears throat> if a man lies with his daughter-in-law, both of them shall surely be put to death. They have committed perversion. Their blood shall be upon them. If a man lies with a male as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. If a man marries a woman and her mother, it is wickedness. They shall be burned with fire, both he and they, that there may be no wickedness among you. If a man mates with an animal, he shall surely be put to death, and you shall kill the animal. If a woman approaches any animal and mates with it, you shall kill the woman and the animal. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood is upon them. If a man takes his sister, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter, and sees her nakedness, and she sees his nakedness, it is a wicked thing, and they shall be cut off in the sight of their people. He has uncovered his sister's nakedness. He shall bear his guilt. If a man lies with a woman during her sickness and uncovers her nakedness, he has exposed her flow, and she has uncovered the flow of her blood. Both of them shall be cut off from their people. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your mother's sister, nor of your father's sister, for that would uncover his near of kin. They shall bear their guilt. If a man lies with his uncle's wife, he has uncovered his uncle's nakedness. They shall bear their sin, they shall die childless. If a man takes his brother's wife, it is an unclean thing. He has uncovered his brother's nakedness, they shall be childless. You shall therefore keep all my statutes and all my judgments, and perform them, that the land where I am bringing you to dwell may not vomit you out. And you shall not walk in the statutes of the nation which I am casting out before you. For they commit all these things, and therefore I, ho I, abhor I abhor them. But I have said to you, You shall inherit their land, and I will give it to you to possess, a land flowing with milk and honey. I am the Lord your God, who has separated you from the peoples. You shall therefore distinguish between clean animals and unclean, between unclean birds and clean, and you shall not make yourselves abominable by beast or by bird, or by any kind of living thing that creeps on the ground, which I have separated from you as unclean. And you shall be holy to me, for I, the Lord, am holy, and have separated you from the peoples, that you should be mine." 
a man or a woman who is a medium or who has familiar spirits shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones. Their blood shall be upon them. And that's Leviticus 20. And again, real quick, I was, as I was reading through this today, I just, it stood out to me that, I mean, much of the punishment for these things is death. And there's no degree of severity there you know like you know if he does it three times then it's death no it was if you did it once it was done um and a lot of times we you know we think of you know gentle jesus meek and mild and you know but i mean this is god telling him this is the law you know this is what what happens and i mean there was punishment for people that didn't follow that so um you know god is very What's the word I'm looking for? Like, just straightforward. There's not a lot of room for, for this gray area. It's black and white. If you did it, here's the punishment. If you didn't, you know, you know, keep not doing it, I guess. But anyway, I just, like, a lot of that, like, I don't know. That is not how we live today. Um, and it just makes me wonder. I know that the, you know, there's, thoughts that the law has changed once Jesus came and, and paid the price for our sins and you know but we should still be I think trying to to honor these things you know and like trying to be as as holy as we can um, and I think these are you know things that Jesus would not have done and so we should not do them either um, but I just you know I'm struck by how um, uh, I'm kind of at a loss of word, like how bold the punishment was and how, you know, there was no, you know, there's no, like, it didn't seem like there was a lot of wiggle room for, oh, well, this person did that, but it wasn't as bad. So we, we don't have to punish them as much. You know, it was just, if you did this, it was death. Um, and so I just, you know, I think we've to a certain degree given God and Jesus this this gentleness that may not be accurate, you know, I mean, God is a jealous God and he's telling you, if you do these things, you can't be part of me. And so, I mean, it's, I guess if death is better than not being there, but it was also a way to, you know, keep the, the sin out of there. You know, once, once you begin those things, you, you, you crave more and then sin just takes hold. And I think God is trying to, give us a way out of sin um but again i i'm just struck by you know the severity of the consequence for the sin um and i'm i mean that's just based on how our you know our way of doing things in america you know i mean you can kill somebody and be out in a couple of years and you know no biggie you know that then there's no punishment for having an affair and things like that so Anyway, that was just kind of what I was thinking about as I was reading through there today. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this chapter and you will join me tomorrow for chapter 21. Have a good evening.